Welcome back to the Practical Camper. Today we'll be looking at some entry level towable RV trailers, specifically the 26 foot bunkhouse models found at the Tarrant County RV Show in Fort Worth, Texas. Not everybody likes to sleep outdoors in a hammock, under a tarp, or looking at the stars, but that's okay because we can find a towable unit that's right for you. Let's go check them out. We're here today at the Tarrant County RV Show in Fort Worth, Texas. I'm standing in a KZ Sportsman. 26 foot bunkhouse model. We're here in the master bedroom. And this is really one of the models that I think is one of the better ones for an entry level camper. You've got a nice couch, kitchen area, dinette, and two rather large bunks on this model, uh, which I really like. And I like the colors and everything on this model. And then the, uh, the bathroom, of course, uh, is just plenty large. So anyway, uh, at a price point of fourteen thousand nine hundred here at the show, I think this is definitely one that fits the uh, bill for a entry-level practical first RV. One thing to notice about this KZ Sportsman LE travel trailer is that the toilet faces the driver's side of the trailer, and that the bathroom sink is included inside the restroom area. We'll talk about that again when we visit our Jayco here in a minute. This is the Jayco J Flight SLX 264 bunkhouse. Show price today is $13,900. This is the 2008 model. This is probably my favorite uh, camper for the price point. Uh, that's half ton towable bunkhouse. Uh, this 264, or sorry, 26 foot bunkhouse model. Just about every manufacturer makes one, but I really do think that my favorite uh, manufacturer of this line is Jayco. Uh, you get the two year warranty. I like how this is not a full wall. Uh, earlier we were in the one that KZ manufactures and this is a full wall. I really like that you could sit on the bed, look out and talk to people as you are you know, enjoying your evening. Um, really like the, yeah, I don't hit my head in this one, which is nice because it is the wider model uh, J-Flight trailer um, and being wider is a little bit taller. Uh, anyway, at the price point for the size, I think this is one of the best buys in the RV industry right now. Uh, especially in the half ton towable market. As we look at this 264 bunkhouse Jayco J Flight, uh, one thing that we need to notice is that the on this one the toilet, the back of the toilet is towards the driver's side uh, so that you would face in to the center of the trailer. But the main thing that I really like about this model is that the sink is on the outside of the bathroom, meaning that one kid can be brushing their teeth while somebody else is taking a shower and that you don't have to use the uh, kitchen sink after you know for brushing your teeth or getting ready for bed or taking off makeup whatever you do uh, after you've been traveling in your travel trailer this one also has a 16 foot awning whereas the previous one that we looked at only had a 15 foot awning this is the Jayco 26BH. This is very similar to the SLX 264BH, um, but it's got the nicer trim line inside. This one here today at the show is $19,977. So again, it's that 26 foot bunkhouse functionality. Uh, a little bit nicer appliances, a little bit nicer look, but in that bedroom, uh, a little cleaner, uh, you know, just, just a little uh, fancier interior on this as well. It comes with a couple exterior options that are a little bit different from the 264BH, but overall, um, not a bad little trailer for the price. As we look at the Jayco 26BH j flight model and compare it to its lower trim line, the 264BHW, uh, one of the main things to notice is that above the queen bed, on this model you have an actual overhead cabinet with doors, whereas on the 264BHW you just have a shelf. To some people that's a big deal, to others it's not a big deal, but it is something to note. Again, the 26 bunkhouse is a little bit nicer. It's got nicer trim line. It's you know got a couple exterior features that improve the overall um, usability of the trailer. However, uh, the 264 BHW is still very usable and uh, capable, especially in its price point. Uh, again, the uh, Jayco 26 bunkhouse does come with a two-year warranty and is, is a really, really nice trailer to be inside. This is another 26 foot bunkhouse model. This one's made by Gulfstream. The one thing I wanted to point out is I really like how the kitchen is up here and the kitchen makes a nice little L. Then your couch is back here where you can sit right here by the table. So say you can play a, a board game all together or something uh, as a family and then you still have your bunk back there. I don't know why they stage it with 
bottles that here at the RV show. Still the same bath, rear or floor ducted heating, nice storage cabinets. And the bed. Now I kind of like that this one is closed here because you do have that uh, couch right here next to the bed. So, or right next to the, the table, excuse me. So again, this is the 26 foot bunkhouse. This is the King Sport. And there's the price of $13.9. So I actually really like that one. This 275 FBG is one of my uh, favorite units that we got to see here at the Tarrant County RV show this weekend. The main thing that I've never seen before on one of these approximately 26 foot bunkhouse type models is the sofa right across from the dinette. To me that makes perfect sense. Rather than sit on a sofa and have somebody sit in a dinette with their back to you, you can all sit there talk about the day, talk about the day's adventures, and make plans for tomorrow. Uh, I also kind of like that the kitchen is out of the way, uh, and the way that they've got the kitchen in a corner L shape like that really completes that kitchen triangle, which is very similar to what you would have uh, at your house, you know, when you uh, talk about your, your sink, your range, and your refrigerator um, being in a nice triangle uh, from each other. As far as home design, I think this one makes a lot of sense. Uh, I also like that this one has the overhead cabinet um, to the queen bed. The one downside to this though is that that, that bedroom is, is really kind of shut off from the rest of the trailer. A lot of people probably would, wouldn't mind that so much, but uh, you know, if you are, you know, especially with the sofa right across from the dinette, I think that this one makes it okay. Uh, but if it were the other model where the sofa was, you know, on that wall separating the queen bed and everything else, I think that you'd want more of a curtain there. That way you could still talk and participate with the rest of the group uh, and sit there on the edge of the bed. Anyway, I think this is a really neat model. I haven't ever seen this at an RV show before, so I was really glad that they brought it to the Tarrant County show. And uh, it's one that I'll be watching uh, for sure in the future to see you know, kind of what design changes and things they do to it to make it really look nice. This is the Keystone 2600 TB. Uh, it was not at the Tarrant County RV show this year, but I have seen it in the past at the Dallas RV show and wanted to go ahead and talk about it. Uh, it's a very value priced RV. It's, it's very similar in construction and pricing to the Jayco 264 uh, VHW. However, uh, the, a couple things that I did, don't like so much about this one, uh, the construction of the, the roof and the floor always uh, kind of struck me as a, a little bit cheaper feeling, cheaper constructed. Uh, than the Jayco. However, uh, I've been in several old Keystone 26-foot bunkhouse trailers and they seem to hold up just fine. Uh, and if, so depending on your location and your dealer, uh, you may in, end up you know, looking at this Keystone 2600 TV uh, because it is a very competitively priced, competitively designed 26-foot bunkhouse that is going to serve you and your family well as you take it out and go with them. Finally, to wrap things up, let's talk a little bit about weights and the specifications for many of these trailers. This here is a look at the spec chart for the Jayco JFly SLX 264 BHW, basically their entry level 26 foot bunkhouse. You can see that the unloaded vehicle weight is 4,600 pounds and the gross vehicle weight is 6,500 pounds. Uh, meaning that at weighing in at 6,500 pounds, this is definitely half ton towable by pretty much every uh, major manufacturers half ton truck. I know I drive a 2016 Ford F-150 extended cab with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost and I know I can tow 7,600 pounds. Uh, I looked online at the 2018 Ford towing ratings and I think this is towable by everything except for that little V6 engine that they make which ends up mostly in their fleet trucks. So uh, if you've got the 2.7 EcoBoost, the 3.5 EcoBoost or even the 5 liter uh, natural aspirated gasoline engine uh, would be just fine. Most of your, your larger SUVs are going to be able to tow something like this. I mean, I would not be just behind a Ford Explorer or like a Chevy Traverse, but the Tahoe and Expedition uh, definitely could tow your family as well as this travel trailer uh, across the country on a, a great, great road trip. Uh, the exterior width coming in at 96 inches is right, right there at the 8 foot mark. 
uh, which is you know plenty wide, but not too wide that you're going to have uh, issues. You know, driving it, uh, it's going to fit in all your lanes correctly and not really be a, a major issue. That interior height of 81 inches, I'm six foot five and can stand comfortably in this. I definitely can't raise my arms like I can in some fifth wheel models, but that's not what we're looking for at the entry level towable, um, you know, in the entry level towable market. So I just wanted to say uh, thanks for watching today. Uh, if you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at practical underscore camper. And until we meet again, happy trails.